Hey everyone. All right, so as you just saw uh, last week, I filmed the video where I talked about the four classes of semester two, so now I'll just talk about the other three. Uh, so let's just get right into it, shall we? Okay, so first uh, I'll talk about electrical diagnosis one. And uh, this was uh, a fun class. Um, it really... I learned a lot from that class, a lot. I've done a lot of electrical diagnosis, um, but you know, I've done it just basically with a voltmeter and um, diagnose what you can. Sometimes you can diagnose stuff. Uh, it depends on how complex the system is, especially on the newer cars. This class opened up my eyes significantly to a lot of things. Um, uh, and uh, one of the things, uh, that may surprise people a lot is, you know, I've, I've always, when it comes to like, for example, joining wires and stuff, I've always just done the, uh, you know, crimp and, uh, and twist method and things like that. Uh, soldering has never been my strong suit. Um, but, uh, you know, I got to do a lot of soldering and stuff like that. Got pretty good with it. So feeling kind of good about that. Um, so it was nice to pick up on, on a lot of new skills. A lot of uh, testing electrical systems. We use these circuit boards and stuff, as we did in the uh, with electrical basics in the in semester one. Uh, so we got to kind of diagnose um, faulty wires, faulty systems, faulty uh, how to diagnose bulbs. All this stuff was pretty easy. But then we got into more advanced, like um, if you had multi systems, like in GM cars that have these systems that are interconnected. So if one system fails, another system fails. How do you diagnose which part of the system has failed? Things like that. So it was a it was a great class, and I enjoyed that one tremendously. Next up uh, was my elective, and uh, <laughs> uh, so I was I had um, said in previous videos, and if you look back in my far far back history early videos um i'm also a video game and movie enthusiast i love video games love movies um and uh i went through and there was a class uh the, so for don't know for those who don't know electives are classes you pick so all the other classes are preset i don't pick them these are the classes you're going to do this semester but an elective is one they'll give you a list of like depends on the school but in this case I had a list of like I don't know 100 different classes or something like that and you pick the one you want you pick whichever one you want maybe it's for a different field maybe it's just a random class you pick what you want so I picked one on video games <laughs> that was a fun one because uh, it was actually video games and their impacts to society to history to um, to their the video games history where they started and all that sort of stuff so oh FedEx. Um, yeah, so it was a cool class. It started off from like the early days from Atari and went all the way up to the modern age of games. Uh, and so, yeah, it was uh, it was a good class. Interesting thing. It wasn't the same length as the other class. It was the same length, but every class is like I told you, started January to like May, essentially. Whereas this one started later, it started in March. And then instead of having one class a week like the other ones, it was two classes a week, so it was quite condensed, and we had to do some essays, some write-ups, with different things to do, um, and this one also gave me a lot of homework. It's weird to think that I'm closing into 40 years old and doing homework, uh, <laughs> but hey, why not, right? Why not? So, uh, yeah, that was, uh, was interesting, and I'm doing homework on video games, no less. Nearly 40, homework on video games. <laughs> so yeah, that was the class. Uh, it was a great class. Went through the history. Uh, some of our homework assignments was, hey, go try out this game, play this game, and try it out, and then um, upload your score or something. So that was that homework. That was fun and easy. But then there was things where you had to write up articles and and do um, make do like a presentation and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, that was one another class. And the final class we'll talk about is drive lines. This one I saved for last. I don't know if I'll talk about it the most necessarily, but it's an important class for you because I've done teardowns on engines. I've done suspension brakes, exhausts. Uh, I've done, I ripped out entire interiors. Uh, I've taken off panels. One of the things I haven't done, honestly, truly, is transmissions. Um, and I've done things, flushes, yes, 100%. I've done tons, hundreds of flushes on tons of cars. Uh, differentials, transfer cases, all sorts of stuff. Um, I have put a shift kit inside the Grand Prix. You know the Grand Prix, some of you guys love? I put a shift kit inside of that. Um, 
But one thing I've never done is done a complete teardown on transmission. I know it works and now the gearings work. I've never done it. So this is one of the things I was looking forward to in my schooling because um, I know how, for example, the CVTs work with the, the bands. I know automatic transmission work. I know how manual transmission works. I know how pressure plates and, um, and clutch discs and all that work, but I've never done it. So this class gave me that. But it's only Drive Lines Part 1. Drive Lines Part 1 deals primarily with rear-wheel drive manual transmissions. As my understanding is, in the next classes, we'll deal with transaxles, both manual and automatic. And then I think there's another class where we'll deal more advanced transmissions, like they're probably in semester four, with like CVTs and stuff like that. So this was the more simple of the transmissions. Uh, Rear-wheel drive uh, transmissions versus transaxle, transaxles are a bit simpler. Uh, we worked on Mazda ones, Ford ones, um, and they were, you know, it's pretty straightforward. You have your shift linkage, pressure plate, uh, you have your clutch plate, um, and uh, you know you have uh, you know your gears and how to identify the gears, uh, which gears, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, reverse, etc. So it was a lot of that sort of stuff, opening up the transmissions. Now this one, of course, was a bit of a loss too because of COVID. So because of COVID, um, you know we weren't we only were in the class instead of there like we would normally have um, uh, sixteen classes or 12 classes something like that and then with six so we would do things like take apart part of a transmission but then we couldn't complete it so we'd have to put it back together um, because then it'd have to be sanitized um, and then I sat there for two weeks until we went back to another class again uh, we'd have in class online but we wouldn't have an in class we ever are uh, online we'd have an online class but our in class was once every two weeks so that was unfortunate um, that we didn't get that opportunity to uh, to actually really tear down transmissions. We got to tear them down fully. We got to take all the, the gearing out and everything, but you know, I don't think we did uh, everything as we should have, and, and that's just a COVID thing. So uh, yeah, that's, um, that's where we're at, semester two, uh, and uh, I'm now looking for semester three in September. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all next video.